We recently did a video titled Mature Fragrances, I'd give a perfect 10 out of 10. To complement that, I thought I'd create a video called Youthful Fragrances, I'd give a perfect 10 out of 10. So in the context for you younger guys, I feel like these fragrances you absolutely love. They have a variety of styles here. We have eight different fragrances. And for you guys, it's a 10 out of 10. And I think they still offer you the best in perfumery. With younger guys, you can go for overly simplistic stuff that isn't particularly impressive. So hopefully this video changes that for you. Let's review Mr. Majestic from Atrium Fragrance. And I can, with confidence, say this is a fantastic plum fragrance. Is the juice as majestic as the bottle design? Yes. Yes, it is. It's this sort of fresh, yet loud, sweet, and warm opening. It just grabs your attention instantly, which is the purpose of the head turning fragrance. Projection on this is loud, very loud. Give yourself eight, 10 sprays of this and you will be turning heads in a room. I guarantee you that. And longevity is nothing to scoff at either. That is a solid 10 to 12 hours. Honest rating, nine out of 10. Let's start off with the versatile stuff first of all. Your dumb reach fragrances you can just grab at any time, that work in any place, any scenario. Let's start off with this first. Prada Luna Rose of Carbon. Your Sauvage is a little bit overdone. Prada Luna Rose of Carbon is a bit more uh, better blended. It is a bit more classy, a little bit more unique. It is sort of like their more earthy, more clean and elegant take on Dior Sauvage. It's kind of like an inspired fragrance, not exactly a clone, but I think for younger guys, especially in school, you wear this every day, it's super easy to wear, super elegant, inoffensive. It's like a soapy, clean version of Dior Sauvage. Musky, lavender, a little bit earthy, almost like a fresh out of the shower fragrance that you really can't go wrong with. So if you want a safe option, Luna Rosa Carbon is your first option here. If you want a more sweet and playful uh, take on the versatile DNA, go for John Paul Gaultier's Le Beau Le Parfum. This is definitely a sweeter signature with really creative notes. I think it's definitely more ideal for younger guys. Again, it's powdery with the iris, coconuts in here as well, pineapple, woods, tonka beans, makes it creamy. It's a signature that doesn't really exist anywhere else. It's super unique to this line to Le Beau. If you like coconut, this is like, like the perfect line for you. That's what the, the, the main note that this focuses on. Le Beau Le Parfum is a bit thicker and sweeter than the Eau de Toilette. It has more versatility, it's just more substantial. It's a better flanker, in my opinion, in general. It lasts 10 hours of medium projection. So if you want a sweeter, everyday fragrance that makes you smell unique and super creative, this is the best to do it. 32% of people who watch School of Scent are subscribed to us. If you guys want to see our channel grow, to really help us out, click subscribe. Let's get that number to 40%. Thank you. Some of you younger guys actually have bread. <laughs> I've noticed when you guys send me collection uh, pictures, a lot of people will be surprised, you know, teenagers actually often will have niche fragrances in their collection. I've seen 16 year olds with Creed Aventus just chilling in their collection photo. So don't underestimate younger guys going for niche fragrances. For niche fragrances, it's quite tricky uh, to find something that's youthful. They're higher price tagged items that are often aimed at more mature people. However, there are still some good options. I think every young guy is going to love this fragrance here. That is Bond number no. 9, Lafayette Street. This is the child of La Nuit de L'Homme having a baby with. Percival by Parfum de Marley. So it's got that fresh and clean apple aspect in here. It's got the warm, spicy ambers and ambroxan here in here as well. This is a woody, amber, spicy, clean, fresh fragrance. Has everything all in one. Super sexy, super balanced, mainstream, youthful perfumery. That's fairly simple, but it's just super versatile. It has the perfect amount of thickness in there to be worn at any time. This is signature material right here. If you're a young guy who's just you know made of money, <laughs> you want to run your card, no problem. You know, you get over eight hours longevity with a soft and medium projection. It's just a super easy to love fragrance DNA. I, that I'm pretty much, you know, convinced anyone can get compliments with a fragrance like this. But you might be saying, okay, Omar, I'm young. You know, most young guys don't have a lot of money. Give us some more affordable options. Here you go. For the evening time, for an intimate occasion, go for Detour Noir by El Haramein. I always give this fragrance a 10 out of 10. This is a fantastic clone of Parfum de Marius Leighton. For the price, it is incredible. Leighton is a better fragrance, better quality. But this is just very good for being, what, an eighth of the price of the original Leighton. It has that sexiness, that beautiful blend. Not necessarily all the naturals of Leighton, not exactly the same quality, but it has that beautiful blend of being that apple pie, musky, fresh DNA. That's just on the general sweeter side. I think you can wear this in the daytime as well, but 
I think for teenagers, it's difficult to find a good quality evening scent. So I think this is the kind of fragrance that would work in that situation. It's you know, not too loud, maybe a soft and medium projection with a 10 hours longevity, which is incredible for a clone of this price tag. The quality is great. I think most young guys will love this. It's the latent DNA. The latent DNA is difficult to hate. Carolina Herrera's 212 Men NYC. Now, a lot of guys will say this is not an affordable option. It's usually a mid-range uh, fragrance price tag. However, you gotta just wait for it. Find the fragrance when it's on discount, kind of uh, pounce on it on the time is right. But two on two men NYC, I think for younger guys, it's perfect. It is, as the, the, the fragrance presentation suggests, it's like a canister, like a deodorant canister. <laughs> it's green, musky, fresh out of the shower. It smells like a deodorant that's just super high quality. I, I kind of, I feel like I'm being unfair saying it's like a deodorant. It's not really a deodorant, but it's kind of like that kind of vibe of really fresh and clean, dumb reach perfumery. If you can get this on discount, you get an excellent quality fragrance product. 10 hours longevity, high quality ingredients, high quality blend, super underrated. It's a fragrance from the 90s, 1999, but I think that is the reason why a lot of uh, discounters will put it on for a cheaper price because a lot of people might think, oh, you know, it's not new and modern, but it smells very new and modern. This is not outdated at all. You young bucks, if you want like a great gym fragrance, especially, or just a long lasting everyday scent, don't sleep on 212 Men NYC. For the spring and summertime, go for Dolce & Gabbana's King Eau de Parfum. I think a lot of people sleep in this fragrance in general. Uh, it didn't get a lot of hype from when the Eau de Toilette came out, but I actually liked the Eau de Toilette too, but I think the Eau de Parfum is even better. The notes are really interesting. It's got like fig in here, uh, chili pepper, some red citruses in here, and uh, it just smells woody, um, clean, almost bubblegum-esque, sort of like the Invictus style of bubblegum perfumery, but done in a more modern way, more masculine way. Uh, and it's a very long lasting fragrance as well. It's like 10 hours longevity. I think, you know, okay, I really like this phrase. I don't know why I get so much hate, but let's say you don't like this, so you can go for something instead uh, as an alternative, go for Valentino's Warmo Born in Roma Intense, which is a similar vibe, it's thicker. It's not really a spring and summertime phrase, it's more of an all year round scent, but you're gonna love that. So one of those two, go to the department store, try one of these two, and you're gonna love them as your bubblegum-esque kind of phrase. The bubblegum style works for younger guys really well. You young guys you wanna smell sexy and clean, but you know, attractive and playful for the everyday scenario. These are the kind of styles you need to go for. Another spring and summer fragrance is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Eau Intense. You know, I think guys in their 20s can still rock this as well, but I just know that a lot of teenagers love this fragrance based on my experience in TikTok. This is the advantage of me being on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. You kind of see all the different age groups and their experiences with fragrances. A lot of younger guys love this. Uh, I just think a lot of younger guys who love the sharp, fresh stuff, like this is a salty, musky, aquatic fragrance. It's a very classic DNA. They love this kind of fragrance. I also like, you know, I see a lot of hypernautical voyage as well. I kind of feel like voyage is probably a safer scent for teenagers, but just so poor quality, I just don't recommend it that much, really, in general. Light Blue Intense is better. It's longer lasting, it's louder. It's gonna be a lot of compliments as well. So if you younger guys want a safer, loud, simple, linear, but masculine, piercing, uh, interesting, you know, full of character fragrance DNA for the summertime, Light Blue O Intense is still a classic for a reason. And lastly, Azaro's The Most Wanted. This is my loud, you know, quote unquote, partying or clubbing fragrance I recommend to teenagers these days or younger guys in general. Still going for Eros, still going for Ultramal <laughs> because uh, I feel like these fragrances are a little bit outdated now. They're kind of uh, time, you know, they're products of their, of their time, which is fine. It's cool. They were great at their time, but I feel like there's better stuff. The Mal Elixir is better. This is better. This is a loud, balanced, toffee slash caramel fragrance with some ambery woods in there. So it just smells like loud, really attractive, sexy toffee. A lot of people like this fragrance. It gets a lot of good uh, reactions. It has some freshness up top, but it's just really balanced with that sweetness in there. So that's the kind of scent you want in like a clubbing in scenario. You don't want something that's annoyingly sweet. I feel like something like Spice Bomb Extreme might be too cloying, for example, <laughs> but this is feels like it just feels like it's made for clubbing so i recommend for you younger guys go go for this try this out in the store and you'll see what i mean that concludes this video guys what are your thoughts on the suggestions i shared today are you a younger guy watching this video you know do you agree or disagree with these options are there other alternatives you would have picked instead make sure you share your thoughts on these eight fragrances down in the comments down below guys if you haven't already make sure to check out our previous fragrances for teenagers that i suggest i'll see you guys in the next one bye